ரெசிபி பேர் என்னன்னா தெரியல அட வெக்கம் கட்டுவீங்களா குத்தி வங்காய் எனக்கு உங்க வீட சுத்திக்காதீங்க ஷெஃப் அண்ட் वी ஹேவ் a common washroom dangerous pillow even a careful la handle pannano family photos we want to keep put all our keepsake okay, so this is the trouble maker i said iniki video la namba kuda yaar irukranga na prabhika irukanga actually telugu அதனால இவங்க கொஞ்சம் காரமா சில ஐட்டம்ஸ் எல்லாம் பண்ணுவாங்க நான் கேள்விப்பட்டேன் இவங்க வந்து இன்னைக்கு பண்ண போற ரெசிபி பேர் என்னன்னா எனக்கு தெரியல குத்தி வங்காய குத்தி வங்காய அப்படின்னு சொல்றாங்க அது தமிழ்ல என்ன சொல்லுவாங்க என்ன கத்திரிக்கா அந்த ரெசிபி தான் பண்ண போறாங்களா ஐ மூவ் டு கனடா அபவுட் செவன் இயர்ஸ் பேக் இன் டூ தௌசண்ட் செவன்டீன் அதுக்கப்புறம் ஒன் இயர் ஆஃப்டர் தேட் டூ தௌசண்ட் எயிட்டீன் ஐ காட் மேரிட் மை ஹஸ்பண்ட் இஸ் தமிழன் Uh, about 3 years ago around 2021 uh, we got this house and then moved here um and then i have a 2 year old boy uh, i'm mostly busy with just him running around him planning things for him <laughs> just my daily routine with him but apart from that professionally i am an um, it engineer so in the video la vande ivanga panna pora recipe namba paaka porom adukapra ivanga veeda namakku sutti kaatran solirukanga ivangala patti inna konja detailed ana information ellathai namba ketukalam so ipo indha video va start pannalam so first we'll take a pan and then fry a few ingredients which include peanuts coriander seeds and cashews so first we'll take about like 1 tablespoon each of all of these uh roast them properly until uh, they're nicely uh, you'll get a nice smell out of them once they're i have all of these spices the regular spices that we use for masalas like bay leaves cloves cinnamon and then jeera okay Just add this and roast it again so this is a very quick recipe that i'm doing but the the proper guttiyonkai from the andhra style they'll have like a lot of other things also added but the taste will be very similar similar <laughs> how long it will take for you to do this and take about half an hour not half not hour. so long yeah. and the brinjal also it cooks very fast so it doesn't take much time i have the habit of using my hand also in between <laughs> <laughs> now we add some sesame seeds okay and This we add it at at the end because it takes very short time to roast. Okay. And along with this, some coconut. So if you want more coconut flavor, you can add more of this coconut powder. You can use uh, shredded fresh coconut or I I'm using dry coconut powder, but otherwise even fresh coconut works very well. Almost done. Okay. I'm now turning this off and let it cool down. In the meanwhile, I got some tamarind juice ready and i chopped some onions and coriander is ready this is so we have to grind this into a paste and add, add all of these with some salt and chili powder for the stuffing into the brinjal okay now let's clean up the brinjal stuffing that we make we'll have to just stuff it but before that we'll just cut the brinjal and let it be in water for a few minutes okay just so that it doesn't get bitter while cooking okay. <laughs> say hi say hi hi <laughs> so i'm adding just a little bit of salt in this water okay. so that the bitterness won't be there from the brinjal so whatever we roasted put everything in the jar Okay so now along with all the dry roasted ingredients add like a half cup of onions and a few coriander leaves and some salt Okay you know we telugu people andhra people <laughs> we eat lot of spice right so yeah. you can add just according to your spice levels and a little bit of ginger garlic paste adding this so you have the raw one Yes. Okay, now I'm going to stuff this into all of these brinjals. The stuffing is done for all the brinjals. and there's some extra paste that we can use for the gravy add a good amount of oil 
all the taste comes out with this oil. Now I'm adding some curry leaves. Okay. And once that is done, generally in the other recipes, they fry the brinjal separately in oil, then stuff them and then add the paste. We'll, we'll add the paste also in this. We don't, it'll just cook by itself. We don't need any separate fry since this is the shorter process. The remaining paste. So I added a little bit of water to make it a little more runny. Okay, I forgot to add turmeric in the stuffing. You can add it while grinding it, but yeah, I'm adding it in the curry now. Doesn't make much difference. And now give it a good mix and cover it up and let it cook for some time. Okay, more vegetating it. Yep, on medium flame, about five to ten minutes. It won't take longer, but keep checking it so uh -huh. that it doesn't burn. Okay, the cook cooking took a time. Now, that is, number one, our weed. That is, if you come to see the weed, I will show you the weed. Sure, come. This is a three-bedroom house. We got it three years back. Um, so we enter the house and there's a staircase to which leads upstairs and that's our photo wall. Uh, it's filled with my family photos, my son, my son's grandmother, grandfather, my mom and in-laws, everybody. And I like decorating my house with anything and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some family pictures here as well. So we had a, a family shoot recently, so all these are from that shoot. And we enter, there's a, this is my son's bedroom. Okay. So we have decorated it by ourselves, my husband and I. So we painted this wall and even this side. He loves moon and stars, so we've done this. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you. And we have a common washroom. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay. Okay, and then we have another guest bedroom. Okay. So my parents or friends or whoever comes will give them this room. Then we have have our master bedroom. In. Okay. And we have the master washroom. The bathtub is mostly used by my son for all his water play. <laughs> Okay. You did a good job. Yeah, thanks. Um, and the living room. And that's our kitchen. Place. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the uh, living room. Come another play area for my son. And uh, for the God Temple, we have we have done that also. We have done it uh, by ourselves. We got the floating wall shelves, and then just added these piece of decors to it to make it more beautiful. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. And then this is another uh, photos that we have. We have a small uh, kitchen for my son. <laughs> <laughs> And even this wall, we, we want to keep put all our keepsakes from my son's daycare, all the DIY stuff that we make him do. Um, yeah, we have painted this again by ourselves. And this is the main living area, which is so messy right now. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> yeah, and we are, we are big time friends fans. And that was gifted by one of my <laughs> friends. Yeah. And this is our dining area. Again, we have a bottle of wine from here last night, <laughs> which we are going to have tonight again. Okay. And this is, uh, oh yeah, that's the backyard. I can just show you quickly, just, but uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's so cold right yeah, now, so we can't go there. Okay, so this is the troublemaker I said, my two-year-old is Aaron. 
Aaron. And he's busy eating chocolates that <laughs> Dilip got. We call him Chinnu. Chinnu? He's a very shy person. But tell me your hobbies. Um, I can't think of any right now. <laughs> I'm mostly busy with just playing him, planning activities for him or planning any um, weekend outings, okay. trips and all. But otherwise, I like writing. I do write sometimes just about my personal experiences of motherhood. Okay. But it's been long that I wrote. Um, yeah, that's so you it. you write poems? Or no, not poems. Just just like personal experience about certain uh, situations, how it affected me. Okay. Oh, about happy, happy moments, sad moments, yeah, okay. stuff like that. I write on medium. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so if you are interested to just uh, read about my experiences, it generally gives um, a good feeling for new mothers because I wrote them especially during my postpartum maternity leave and one year after that. Um, so I'll uh, ask Dilip to include the link if you want to re read them. <laughs> okay, you can the links in the description. Chinnu, Chalo. Even the wheat learner in the world, we have a podcast under Mike. So, we have a podcast. Yeah, uh, I'm planning to start a podcast with my friend uh, back in India. So, uh, this was going to be generally about women, motherhood, and generally issues or. Just happy moments, nostalgia. We have worked together in Bangalore for about three years, so I know her very well. And we have a, a few ideas on few concepts that we want to talk about. So it's going to launch soon. So I'm excited. You have a podcast on the you start on the link in the video description. If you are interested in the recent Kalyana Girkanga, pregnant Arkanga, mother would put the Ella Dirjikno of Dinani, you go to podcast a cake. Okay, now it's almost done. Just give it a good mix again and add a little bit of tamarind paste. So if you see now it's really thick so if you want it more a uh, little more gravy or more uh, thinner you can add a little more water mm, two more minutes and it should be done <coughs> but during my school days i was into a lot of uh, sports like i used to uh, i used to be very good at athletics okay. like running high jump long jump all this coco kabaddi and I was selected for uh, district level Coco competition, then uh, badminton also I used to play at district level. I played against a state player and won, uh. but after that it didn't go anywhere. I just, <laughs> and then I went into college and it was full of studies okay. and that's it. That was the end of my sports, <laughs> sports thing. Career. But yeah, I, I used to uh, do a lot of jogging and yoga. Who is your favorite actor? In actor? Uh, uh. Pavan Kalyan. Uh, okay. In Tamil? <laughs> In Tamil, I like Dhanush and Rajnikanth. Yes. Just garnishing it with some coriander and we should be done. Done.